All right guys welcome back to our complete guide to mid journey ai art generation course and in this video we are going to learn that how we can leverage the powerful features of mid journey to create amazing logo art design for us and we are going to take some examples where we will see how we can create different logo types such as the initial or lettering logo abstract logo vintage logo and so on and so forth so without a further ado let's jump into it one of my favorite things so far about Mid Journey has been AI logo design. When you get a low quality logo design for your brand or you don't have a logo at all, you are doing yourself a major disservice. Because logo isn't just a pretty image. It's a shorthand for all of the values that are important to your brand and your reputation. There's an entire world behind each of these graphics that you are seeing right here on your screen. When you see any one of them, something remarkable happens. Conscious or subconsciously, your brain is flooded with stories, emotions and experiences. And it happens in an instant. The human brain processes images 60,000 times faster than the text. Maybe you are using a cheap logo as a temporary placeholder or you threw something together yourself because a professional designer was way too expensive. But now there is no excuse to have a low quality logo anymore because Mid Journey is here. And with Mid Journey, you can create a professional quality logo design at a fraction of the cost. And we already have a Mid Journey subscription and we are going to see that how we can use it in our logo design. Alright, so first of all, I want to start with some of the basic tips that I want to give you before starting actually our logo design. Fair tip number one is simple prompts do better. You should always start your prompts with logo design, very very simple prompt like a logo design for and the brand name or the style name and go from there because initially if you try to give a lot of different words then mid journey will consider it and it will generate some other kind of artworks irrespective of the logos so it is always recommended to start designing your logo with very simple prompts tip number two text doesn't work great yet in the mid journey but if you know how to use photoshop or free alternatives like canva or photobee you can easily replace the text within your logos so in this video we are going to see both type of example where we will generate some kind of logos that are without text so that anyway we can add easily text later but we will also see that how we can generate some logos with text on them and later we will use adobe illustrator photoshop and canva tool to replace the text with our own so this is also we are going to cover in this video tip number three you can use designers and artists in your prompts who are good at the style you are looking for so you have to go through internet and search for some of the best logo designers and artists and you have to take a look at their portfolios and then if they are really popular then you can use their name in the mid journey to give your artwork their style so that you can replicate their style and create the logos in their styles so this is our tip number three that mid journey allows you to use the artistic styles by just giving the name of the popular artist and we are also going to see some of the examples of it all right so now enough of the tips and let's get hands on and see how we can create some logo design so the very first logo that we are going to create in this video is pictorial mark logo or a graphic a pictorial mark also known as a brand mark is probably that you have in your mind when you think of logo so for example if you think of the iconic apple logo or the twitter bird or the shell these are the three images that you see in your mind you can pair your mark with the text but the mark must be able to exist by itself because of this it can be a tricky logo type to use for new companies without strong brand recognition you want to aim for something which is very appropriate to your brand, which is distinctive and memorable and very simple in terms of design. All right, so now we are going to talk about some of the artists that are very specialized in creating these kind of logos. Number one is Paul Rand. He is the designer of the IBM and ABC logos and he is a re-owned artist of its own kind. Number two is Rob Janoff, which is the designer of the Apple logo as you have all know, which is very popular one. Third one that we are going to see or the artist that we are going to use in our artwork is Sagi Havivi. He is the designer of US Open Tennis logo, which is a sport company. So we are going to see how we can use these three artistic style while creating a logo for our own 
custom brand. So let's get started. All right. So the very first logo that we are going to create is for a food brand, which has Panda as in its logo. So let's say our uh, brand name is Food Panda and let's create some logo for it. For that, we are going to write our prompt and I'm going to write imagine a simple vector graphic logo and we will mention our brand name which is food panda for a company named and then in columns or in quotes we are going to write the name which is food panda okay and then let's hit the enter key and see what mid journey generate for us all right so here if we take a look at it it generated all of these amazing kind of artworks but here if we see closely these are not a bad start the starting is very good the first one is amazing as we already know text doesn't work too good in mid journey but if we want we can easily replace this those text and in this second logo if we see it is also good so for the starting these logo designs are good but we want something very simple so that we can easily convert them to the vector by using illustrator these we can also work on by using canva we just have to simply replace those names but let's also see how we can make it more simple so that we can create a really good vector logo for that what we are going to use is as we already know there is a no parameter in mid journey so we are going to write a vector graphic logo of a panda and instead of the food panda we have written simple minimal and after using the no parameter i have put this thing which is realistic photo details all right let's hit the enter key and see this time if it goes better because what we wanted is we want to make our designs as simple as possible because here we are aiming for logos not just regular graphic designing or some kind of branding. We want perfect logo that we can use for the future purpose. So let's see that this time the results are more simplistic or how they are. All right. So this time our art or the logo is quite simple and we don't have text in almost three of them. Only one have the text of Adida and we can remove if we want. But we basically get some kind of panda icons or the vector graphics. Now, it is very simple to create logos from them. You can easily import them to the illustrator that we are going to see in our next video. But these are what we are exactly aiming for. It is very easy to just add a text in it. And after adding the text, you can easily remove the background. But here one thing is missing, which is some colors. So instead of all of these white things, we want some colorful things, but not as complex as our first example. So let's see how we can do that. So let's try out writing imagine and we are going to copy our first prompt, a simple vector graphic logo for a company named Food Panda. And this time we are going to combine both of these prompt and we are going to write the no parameter with realistic photo details. Okay, then hit the enter key and see what it throws out. All right. So if we open it up, we can see again, there is a too much text added in it and we don't get actually the logo that we want. In our case, what is good is the first result is the best one among all of these three results that we have tried. The third one is not that good, but it is good for some kind of other sort of branding. But this logo is not what we are looking for. We are looking for a hybrid logo where a panda and doing some kind of food activity. So this time we will explain it in more detail. We will say a vector logo of a panda eating food. And within no parameter, we want to make sure that we don't get any text. So we will write no text and hit the enter key and see what are the results. Okay, so now this time, I think the results are really good. Instead of Panda in some of the images, it just replaces uh, the main character. But this is exactly the logo where we can easily replace the text and it is very easy to further develop. So what we want to do is I want to upscale the second one as compared to all of these things. We can see there are different shapes and elements. And if we want, we can also remove these leaves and develop them further. But the best one among all of them was this thing, which can be easily created into a vector design and we can develop it very easy. So I have given the upscale command to it. OK, so now we got the logo for our food panda brand, which is this one and it is ready for us. So if we take a look on this logo, we can see it is quite good. All of the detailings are fine and it is actually matching with our food brand, which is Food Panda. 
Here we have a panda eating the food and it is very easy to convert this logo into the illustration. So this is the final logo that we have decided and it is looking really good where a panda is eating its food and this text is easily replaceable and we will write the food panda. So in our next video, we are going to see that how we can change the text of all of these logos and we will create final version of them. So this was the first example of the pictorial logo type. So that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.